Hi, welcome back to another video. Hey there, Beezers. Want a personalized video from me to you that you can keep forever? Or maybe a special shout out? Or maybe you just have a pressing question for me you want answered. All you have to do is request a personalized video or direct message from me on Cameo. It's super easy. Cameos also make great birthday or special occasion gifts. Hope to hear from you. Bye. All right, now I'm going to start making a warak inab, which is dolma or yebra or stuffed grape leaves, one of my favorites. So I'm starting with one onion, one tomato diced up. And meanwhile, I'm soaking one cup of long grain basmati rice in some water just to um, soften it up and also rinse and wash it. Then I'm going to saute the onions and tomato in a bit of olive oil to let them get nice and soft. Then, once the vegetables are softened, I'm going to add about two tablespoons of tomato paste and just let that cook down a bit as well to get rid of some of the acidity out of the tomato. I'm adding some spices. I'm adding a little bit of cinnamon, some dry dill, some cumin, salt and pepper to the mixture here. And I'm just gonna let everything cook nicely together for a couple of minutes or so, not too long at all. Then you rinse the rice, make sure there's no liquid left, and just add the uncooked but soaked rice to the mixture as well. And you have your stuffing for the uh, grape leaves. Hi guys! Okay, so I'm going to start making the warak inab, or the grape leaves. Some of you might know it as dolma. So first thing... Um, I need to do is actually cut up some vegetables to line the bottom of the pot with which is still in the kitchen but um, so yeah I'm gonna do that now I have some washed vegetables here you're just gonna cut them about this thick honestly I'm not really sure why they do that that's one thing I didn't look up yet <laughs> Maybe just to prevent the burning from underneath, I would assume. But yeah, we're gonna just put that there. The little scraps over here. Um, that's what I'm guessing. So just like that. My cat is going nuts. The minute I press play, she goes insane. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to cut these just like that. <laughs> yeah, you're not a vegetarian, you carnivore. Just some slices like this. Hey, I don't know, this cat eats anything, so she might like potatoes and I mean, she likes bread. Are you weird? So I'm going to do a layer of tomato and then potato, but I'll show you how I layer the vegetables after. Like that. <laughs> okay, we'll put them aside with the knife. I'm going to get a plate and we have here the grape leaves like this. Now I've never 
I'm going to take the stem off of that, this little stem here. I've never done this, so I've looked up a bunch of ways that people do it. And here's the rice mixture. I need a spoon. All right. So I'm going to do a few just like this, and then I'm going to put the camera closer so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. All right, let's try this. This is my very first, very own grape leaf. <laughs> It's like out like that. I'm gonna put the mixture here. Just a little bit. If I do this, I'll be so happy. <laughs> okay, and then you're gonna fold it in like that. Okay. Then the sides. They're not gonna be perfect, I'm sure. And then you roll it like this. Wow, okay. Not bad. All right, I'm gonna put them on the plate for now. Okay, I'm gonna turn the camera around mm, so you guys can see what I'm doing. All right. <laughs> when I was in Canada, I always sought these out at different um, shawarma places, Syrian or Lebanese, usually. Um, and the places that would make the, them homemade, of course, because they're just, they're so much better homemade. Like, you guys have no idea. They're so good. All right, we're going to take it like that. Okay, I'm going to fold it in. I'm going to fold it in. And just like that. They're actually really easy to roll. <laughs> okay. Alright, do another one. The rice. So these are going to cook, I'll tell you right now. Um, you put some water and you cook them on the, the stove top for... Um, about 45 minutes with some water and then after 45 minutes you make a mixture with pomegranate molasses and things I'll show you guys and then you cook them for a bit longer another maybe half an hour 40 minutes or so so every recipe is different you know I don't know so let's see here Wow, my very own green place! I'm so happy, I'm so happy! <laughs> that made the cat freak out. <laughs> Why do you call the cat? <laughs> she's, she's crazy. Okay, you guys, I'm going to finish up this. You know, it's going to take a little while, so I'm going to listen to something. Get comfortable, roll these all up, and then I'll come back when it's time to cook them, okay? I'm so excited, Yella. Okay, and there they are. Excuse you. No. Get out. There's going to be cat hair. <laughs> so here they are, the the rolled walk and up. So I do have quite a bit of leaves left, but you'll see what I do with them. And uh, now I'm going to prepare the pot for cooking. Yella. All right, so here they are. Now, I'm just going to layer the bottom of this big pot, okay, um, with some tomato. So let me just put that down. If I have leftover tomato, they're perfect for tomato sandwiches. Woo! All right, so we have the tomatoes, okay, now the potatoes. And the potatoes are going to absorb the sauce and the liquid, and it's going to be so good, actually. <laughs> Um, right. Some potatoes. I guess it gives them something to lay on top of as well. Is my guess. Okay. 
So tomato potato lining. Okay, and now we're gonna put the grape leaves. around the pot. I'm going to save some of the grape leaves and maybe make another batch tomorrow if this turns out very well because I don't want to waste the grape leaves I have left over. <laughs> you know? Okay, like that. I love these so much. <laughs> As you guys all know, I eat them very frequently and I've never, ever made my own. So I'm very excited to see. And practice makes perfect with things, especially if you're making them for the first time. So if they don't turn out very well, that's fine. But I showed Salah, he's like, oh yeah, they look really nice. So we'll see. Okay. So that's how they look in the pot. Now, I'm just gonna take some leaves that are not, like they, they weren't perfect, you know, like I, they were ripped or something like this. And I'm just gonna cover them. It helps weigh them down because you don't want them floating all around in the pot when they're cooking, apparently. That's what I saw one lady say when I watched the tutorial. So I'm just gonna put some of these on top. Hopefully that will help them protect them. If you're wondering what grape leaf tastes like, it's tart. It's like a tart, I don't know, maybe because they're in brine and maybe because of the sauce. I don't know what they taste like raw, but these are like brined ones. But they're very good. I don't know how to describe the flavor. It's a very unique flavor and some people when they first try it, they, it's an acquired taste for them because, you know, <laughs> it takes them getting used to. I liked them right away, but I did find them a bit different, right? Because I never had a flavor like that in my life, especially growing up in Canada where I never ate them before. They do have them in Canada, but I didn't grow up eating these. So I'm going to put one more leaf here. Okay. And just like that. All right. Okay, and to keep it weight, weighted down, I'm gonna put a plate on them like this while they're cooking so that, like I said, they don't float around. And I'm just gonna cover with foil because I broke the lid to this pot. I have the outer layer, actually. I'm gonna put foil in the outer layer <laughs> of the, um, the lid, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna pour I'm gonna cover these with mostly cover with water and then I'm going to um, cook them for about I'm gonna ch maybe like 40 minutes or so um, and then I'm gonna add the sauce and the sauce is going to be um, one cup of water two tablespoons of pomegranate molasses and two tablespoons of sugar and I'm gonna pour it over top of them. So I'll show you them when they're finished and we're gonna taste test, okay? Bismillah. All right, here they are in the pot, all cooked. So yeah, let's uh, dish this out and see what they taste like. Okay guys, here, is, here they are. All right, let's try this. Moment of truth. They feel soft. Bismillah, I'm breaking my fast with this. Then I'm gonna pray Maghreb and then I'm gonna have iftar, so. They're exactly how I love them. Mm.
perfect. Mashallah. Let's try the potato. Mmm. One more. These are so good. Oh my gosh. <sighs> so thirsty you guys you have to try these yes yeah you have to try this if you love these um if you've never tried them oh my gosh please try grape leaves they're so good but i feel like if you're like a picky eater you might not like them i don't know but salah loves them and he's kind of a picky eater with some things it just depends i guess no, I'm not. <laughs> whatever you say whatever you say <laughs> Alright guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and more to come. Bye!